Hey everybody, this is Kate Purvis, and before we go much further, I want you to take a moment to think about your options. Um, we've learned a lot about the world of college transfer, you know a lot of terms now, a lot of um, agreements and advantages, but we really need to start narrowing down what all these options are and thinking about our plan. So with that in mind, I do realize that we're all coming from different places. <clears throat> Some of us are already um, enrolled as college students and we're planning to earn our associate's degree and go straight to the workforce. Some of us are planning to just take a few um, courses, a few select courses at, at the community college and then transfer to a four-year university without earning your associate. Some of you are planning, you know, you're already in college, you want to graduate with your associate, and you're planning to transfer um, to earn your, to a four-year university to earn your bachelor's degree. And the same is true for your, if you are a high school student taking this course. You may be planning to, right out of high school, go right to a four-year university, or you might be planning to graduate from high school, come to a community college, earn your associate's degree, and then transfer to a four-year university. Now, this course is designed for those students um, in particular. It's designed as a um, college transfer success course. So we want to kind of focus on that last option. But please realize that um, we will be um, making the assignments meaningful um, to your situation. And uh, But it's good to know it's good to have a broad knowledge of all the options because you never know. You never know. So we're going to take a look at that last option. <clears throat> Whether you're in high school or in college, we're going to assume that you um, could possibly be considering graduating from college with or without your associate's degree. So let's take a look at some advantages or disadvantages. If you're planning to transfer with your associate's degree. Let's say you're planning to finish community college, you want to earn your associate's degree, there are definite advantages. Um, we, you remember the um, CAA or the ICAA, the articulation agreements, um, either for the public schools or for the private schools, and these are guaranteeing that basically all this is saying is that your courses are going to transfer. As long as you make a C in those courses, they're college level courses, and you make a C, then those courses will transfer. And they'll transfer as a package, and so they'll fulfill all the general education requirements when you get to your four year university. So there's a big advantage there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, doing it this way, you are assured to transfer as a junior. All your general ed requirements will be fulfilled. Um, but let's say that you've come to Beaufort, for instance, and you've taken a few classes or you're kind of close to earning your associates, but you're just really ready to go ahead and transfer to that four-year university, and you really haven't finished the associate's degree yet. You can still do that, um, but you just need to kind of know um, you need to make sure that you ha have all the information if that's your choice. So students who transfer before they complete the associate's degree, um, each course on your transcript will be evaluated by the senior institution. And when we say senior institution, we mean the four-year university. Each course will be evaluated, and they get to decide how they're going to apply that credit. So, um, so they may apply it as a general ed course, or they may choose to apply it as an elective credit, but they'll do it on a on course by course basis. So there are some advantages and disadvantages to that. So let's take a look at the first option, the associate's degree. If you earn your associate's degree, there are some definite benefits. Like I said, the entire <coughs> 60 to 61 credit hours that it took to earn your associate's degree, um, the, all, all of those credit hours will transfer, um, and they'll transfer as general ed courses. 
Another benefit is that um, when you get there, you're halfway finished. You won't have to take any of the lower division general ed courses. Um, you may have to take a specific course here or there if they specifically require it for your program, but um, you won't have to take any of those lower divisional, just your general ed course, because you will have already completed them. You'll transfer as a junior. This is going to save you tons of money <clears throat> and time. And um, here, this is important as well. Um, when you earn your associate, either it, whether it be associate in arts or associate in science, you don't have to submit your high school GPA or your ACT, SAT test scores to the university. Um, you, we're going to learn a little bit more about that later, but you know there there could be advantages to that as well. And like we said before, you can um, kind of have a, a little bit more comfort in knowing that. When you do earn your associate's degree, you are guaranteed admission to one of the UNC schools. Um, it may not, they're not necessarily saying to the one that you are particularly wanting to go to. It's not the school of your choice, but um, you are guaranteed admissions to one of the universities in the UN, um, UNC system. So that's definitely an advantage. So if you are choosing, obviously there are many advantages to um, transferring with your associate's degree, but let's say that's just not your plan. You want to take some courses at the community college and then go ahead and transfer to the four-year university before you are your associates. So let's um, take a look at that option. It's important that you're going to know, uh, excuse me, it's important for you to know that um, if you do plan to transfer before you earn your associate's degree, that you are limited in some ways. So you're only able to um, transfer a certain number of credit hours per discipline. So if you see here on the on the chart, you know, for English composition, you can really only transfer six credits. Your humanities, nine credits, and so on and so forth. And so, um, you know, it may be that four-year university requires more than that, but this is the um, maximum allowance. So if you're if you're earning more than that already at your at the community college, it really is in your best interest to complete the associate degree before you transfer. Um, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's just important for you to know your options before you make decisions and like we've said before, this saves you time and it saves you money. So, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. And if not, have a great day. Thank you.